So your Google Data Studio broke and you don't know what to do. Just like with many Google tools, there's a lot of uncertainty and a couple of things can be done to actually resolve it. Find out how you can fix your Google Data Studio. So you come across this dashboard and all hell breaks loose because you don't know what's happening and you have to get your numbers because in a few minutes you have that meeting. Well, you can try to resolve it and maybe it will reconnect the data or not and you'll end up here. So the result is you want to have a working dashboard with working data. Uh, the first step is going to be not disconnecting and reconnecting the source because this can actually uh, cause more frustration and you'll have more panic. But go into your cards and see if you can diagnose the error first by looking at the cards seeing if there's any invalid metrics because usually this is the most common issue sometimes a metric is not installed and you have to add or remove it oftentimes the data source is what's corrupt so you have to remove the data source and add the data source and this will bring back all of your data so when you have the authorization error you'll have more of these issues where you have these ciphers and you might have to dig a little deeper to clean the data set and try to fix the data set. Oftentimes, if you're using the prompt here, what it's going to ask you to do is add or remove the, the data set. You can go ahead and add and remove the data set, or from inside of resources, you can go into your data sources. And the same way uh, you can do it there, you'll see your data source, it's working, but you might have some broken cards. So you wanna make sure you can edit it and evaluate the data sources that everything looks good, everything is connected, that there's no broken metrics here. Sometimes you'll have calculated metrics that may break the calculations, but if you're working with a simple source like Google Analytics, it should pull everything in. And if you're adding custom uh, metrics and fields and calculations, oftentimes those can be broken, possibly it's being overridden by another formula you're trying to do in Data Studio. So that's why you might experience broken cards. So you really have to see and understand what all the pieces are doing and in interacting with the dashboard. Now you did everything, you try to reconnect the data source and you're going to reconnect the data source and you're getting close. And let's see if it works. Uh, and if it doesn't work, what you would do is just remove the data source, delete it, because this would be a normal one from Google Analytics. Most of the custom calculations and metrics will be in Data Studio on the Data Studio side. You just need a new connector. Let's just go ahead with Google Analytics. Make sure you find the client that you want to work with. So let's just go with this simple client, undo all sites. Make sure you're actually labeling it, following by a C, what connector it is, and then you can do client and go ahead and connect. You have the data sources. Now, one of the things I didn't mention yet is the owner permissions and the credentials. Oftentimes what we can see is be very careful with the credentials because you have owner credentials, which uses the data sources owner's credentials to access data through its data source. This enables users with permission to this data source to access data without having access to the underlying data set. Okay, so this is typically where we are, but viewer credentials requires users to supply their own credentials to access the data through this data source. So a viewer has to be an owner to a certain degree. So make sure you know the differences between these credentials and then go ahead and add connect and now your connect dashboard should be there and now we're seeing that it connected it's still not working you can see the invalid metrics so globally we should be able to add the design builder card here and it should start fixing it so globally you can go ahead and add these and you should be uh, all set to go so you can see the design builders here so some cleaning needs to be done to get it working now You've tried all of this, you can't even get this to turn on, then let me introduce you to the nuclear option. A lot of the times this actually fixes it too. So you wanna to go to your myaccounts.google, go ahead and log in and you wanna go into your apps with account access. And you're actually going to clean out three things here. First, you're gonna find your Google Analytics, your default Google Analytics connector access, okay. So you wanna remove that. 
Let's check that. So let's see which Google Analytics. There's your sign in. So remember, remove your Google Analytics. And then you want to go in and remove your Google Analytics demos and tools. And you want to also make sure to remove your Google Data Studio. What this is doing is the next time you go in to your report and you actually are trying to add a data source, it's going to ask you to confirm and, and verify Google Analytics. So that's the key here. We want to reconnect Google Analytics. We want to re reconnect the Data Studio. And these two should basically have a fresh restart and you should be up and running. If you have any other questions or any other issues that this video doesn't solve, please leave a note in the comments or visit us on our blog post where we have the details and we look forward to solving your tracking needs.